Now, what is the maximum area of a rectangle with a perimeter of 200 feet? Okay, so of course this is an optimization problem. So I'm going to say that this is x and that is y. Okay, so length and width, x and y. So of course this will be x as well because we have a rectangle. And this is y as well. So what is the perimeter? Well, the perimeter is the sum of all the sides here. So we have y plus x plus y plus x. So we're adding up all the sides. And I can simplify that, of course. y plus y is 2y. x plus x is 2x. Now, we know that the perimeter is 200. So 200 is equal to 2y plus 2x. Great. So now we want to find the maximum area of a rectangle with a perimeter of 200. And uh, so we want to find, of course, the x and the y that will maximize that area. Now, of course, the area will be just x times y. That's the area of a rectangle with times length. So x times y. Now, so this is what we want to maximize, but we have two variables here. To, and what I want to do is eliminate one of them. I just want one variable. So what can I do here? Um, I want to isolate either y or x. I'll isolate y. So subtract 2x from both sides of this equation. Okay, so we got 200 minus 2x equals 2y. Now I can just divide both sides by 2. Those cancel out, so we end up with y equals 200 divided by 2 is 100. And negative 2x divided by 2 it's just negative x. So now that I have this, y equals 100 minus x, I can plug that in for this y over here. So we get x equal, sorry, x times 100 minus x. Now I can distribute the x, so I get x times 100, 100x, x times negative x, negative x squared. Now, we want to maximize the area because we want to find the maximum area. So how can I do that? Well, I can take the derivative of the area and we set that derivative equal to zero, thereby finding the maximum value. And in this case, this will be a parabola facing down. So when the slope is equal to zero, that'll be the maximum point. So the derivative of 100x is just 100. The derivative of x squared is just 2x. We set that equal to 0. Now we solve for x. So I can add a 2x to both sides of the equation. There we go. So we drop down the 100. 0 plus 2x is just 2x. Then I can divide both sides by 2. 100 divided by 2 is 50. So x is 50. So now what value of y? will give us the maximum area. Well, we can just plug the 50 in right here. So y equals 100 minus 50. y is 50 as well. Oh, so we have a square. So if we have a rectangle with a perimeter of 200 feet, the maximum area will be a square of area 50 times 50, or 2,500 square feet. That's it.